Yeah, I, like, yeah, he doesn't suck, but just like DK has so many flaws, and he's like, in this game, he's more reliant on like the couple of things he has: edge guarding, ding dong, and just general grab things. And against Peach, bro, you you really can't be taking this kind of damage. Yeah, well, YMCA is that type of player who like. No matter how much damage you can zero to 120, but if you don't take that stock, he's gonna find a way. He's so scrappy. My man has lights and tag on himself. I don't know if he knows that, and I hope he does. I feel like he did it on purpose, but I don't know if him and Lightspeed share the same button layout. I am going to assume so, because he's been playing not too bad, but like you said, right? Matchup against Peach, not looking very, very good for uh, YMC for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be really difficult, especially with the float, with the nature of like Peach's fall speed. She's really floaty, so I think like the Ding Dong window is gonna be really tight for Sun, but that's <laughs> all dependent on if you get a grab and not. Oh, that was a really well spaced forward smash. I don't even know if like. Rosso accounted for the fact that he was, oh yeah he did because the forward smash regular is club if you want to use racket you have to use like you have to angle it up racket uh, yeah. racket is down frying pan is up yeah so he definitely had the right opportunity he knew he was facing on that one that was a good opportunity goes forward air like you said earlier right oh, oh my god I hate that move that, that I don't hate it but like you just always forget that it has armor until like it's a second away from hitting and you're like oh yeah my man went to raceway Fridays and just got hit by a horse that's literally what happened. I'll give, I'll give you the line here, all that commentary, man. He went to Raceway Fridays, got hit by a horse. It happens. But uh, like we said, you YMC, you can do a 203% to him, but if you don't take that stock, look what happened. You, YMC yeah. actually took the lead, but you, you notice uh, YMC is kind of trying to play that uh, that mid game. He doesn't want to get hit by Peach once. Yeah. You don't want to take that flow cancel back air. And good opportunity for him to actually just stop charging the punch and then go for a back air, trying to stop Razo from going for that approach there and immediately going for a cross up there, but he missed the opportunity. Razo with solid damage once again. Another opportunity goes for the forward air. Good opportunity to put him back off stage. Razo with so much control at this point. Look, this will be a full punish, just a fair, but you know, damage is damage. Mm hmm. Right now, YMCA, like we said, is struggling to get off this uh, leg. Great parry on the fair. Hashtag, like it slowly climbs up, holds the shield, forcing Rosal to go from aerial option. Calls it out with the upper. The one thing I do like from Rosal here is that every time he sees YMC make a small approach, he'll just drift back with the float and then immediately punish him afterwards. It's so yeah, it's so easy to whip punish DJ because he has to run and just kind of throw his whole body at you. Peach, by nature you have to kind of be a little, you have to be technical with your floats and everything. So a player like of Rosal's caliber and above will even just float cancel out of the way, realize that you're trying to come over, and then just you know float out of the way and hit you. And like, we even saw that earlier when he took the stock too, he flow canceled in. He uh, he actually kind of called out YMCA for going in for uh, for choosing the neutral getup. He flow canceled in. He was able to get him with the forward air and take away that stock. Uh, nice good down smash. I mean, they feeling like melee where he hit like a ton of bricks. Yeah, but in this move, it's just not very good. But it's I think it's solid. I just remember in melee if you were oh. that close, it you was like to, you try to crouch cancel and you just look stupid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Peach is down smash. It's like, it's not amazing. It's not like her best smash, but yeah, it'll do the job. Yeah. Which, what you get from it is damage in terms of percent and a multi hit. Yeah, and the fact if you do it on ledge and people aren't ready, they'll get hit by it. They're like, oh, I need to tech, and then sometimes they'll air dodge and kill themselves. Yeah. But speaking of killing themselves, uh, Raza's about 59%. And if I didn't know any better myself, I'd say one more round from YMCA, and that's going to be curtains. Yep. But Unfortunately, YMCA. Round? No, that was not the sweet spot, so YMCA still has another breath of life. Was such a risky grab. You know, Brazo, uh, Brazo reacted. He could have, uh, yeah, backed <laughs> it up in neutral. Flow cancel bears. Good for carry. Missed the grab. No here. shield right now. He has. He's not going for a turn up, but I like the fact that he knows he doesn't want to give YMCA the opportunity to make that approach. Yeah, Brazo's doing all these flow cancel aerials, so it's so hard for Brazo, uh, Brazo, for YMCA to get this grab that he oh. so desperately wants. Two hundred percent. That's it. That, that's. Oh, he missed the opportunity. Yikes. And he, he still had time to grab. I like the fact that Brazo always tosses up a turn up. No matter what, mm -hmm. he always does it. Like people question, like why you're throwing, throwing it up? It's such a good option, and it is, yeah. Because if like you, he does miss the tech, if the opponent does choose that option to go high, if he does neutral get up, if he does get grabbed, that throwing your turn up up into the skies, it just saved them right there. Yeah, and honestly, people forget about it. Yeah, people, people forget do. about it. They like sometimes against a low level player, it'll conditional roll, and that's an easy flow cancel backwards, do a fair. They neutral get up and jump, like you said, they'll immediately get hit, and sometimes uh, the turn up will hit him, and you get like a free uh, daisy bomber. Exactly. One thing that you see from Razo on PSQ that I mentioned, DK does have a little bit of shenanigans here, but I like the fact that Razo was guarding the platforms against DK, and that kind of stopped YMCA from playing around platforms last game. This game, hopefully, we'll see a little bit different because he's such some solid percent against Razo, 58% off of that. And yeah, like you said, I really, I really loved Razo's defense there because uh, he knew the win condition was if I get grabbed. So he did all these like flow can. He went mm -hmm. into full technical mode. He just he was backing it up. He knew exactly what he needed to do. 
I do like how YMCA is treating, treating this matchup as a grappler, though. Like, he is going for these space back air. He is going for, like, these cross-ups here. He knows what he has to do against Peach, which is the only thing he can do. So he's playing it pretty well. Honestly, it just comes up to Raza's caliber, gets the counter, and unfortunately, <laughs> we even see YMCA take a little laugh about it because he know he had nothing left to do. I mean, you have a hitbox on the recovery. That's a shame. Yeah. Oh, Saturn play. Oh, I was like, I was saying, like, you gotta be careful because sometimes we do see. Oh my oh, God! No! Oh, I every was... goddamn time. Every time. What, what do we got, Razo? Unfortunately, oh, no. unfortunately, he was like on the platform, so he didn't get a, a full. All right, listen, Razo. Wow, bro, bro, put him in the ground. Razo's like. Th that's the YMCA special. Every time uh, he comes back, he has to do something. You got. That's the DK special. Yeah. They always, they always got something up the sleeve. Bro, I, I just love YMCA because he was just laughing like, man, I'm such a doofus for doing that. And then Roz was stone faced like, all right, what's funny for me? You got to get all technical on him. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, man, what, what Twitch highlight will I get today? Yeah. Oh, yep, uh, trade with the Nair. Nice. You know, Good up. Gonna get, yeah, fourth own off the platform. Nice. Once again, toss the turn up up and it covers that option yet again. Good turn up pull one more time. Get him off the stage here. Oh, he's, he's throwing the vegetables at him. My man said he needed some, some other kind of vitamin at this point. Mm -hmm. What I really don't see from Razo, uh... What? Oh my god, are you dead for that? I was like, oh... Razo wanted to leave. That F smash looked negligible. He did. DK, yeah, Punish out of shield? Nice, gets the grab instead, and he knows he had enough time. I won't lie, if I was Peach, I was like, he crossed me up, blow cancel back, I would've looked stupid. Uh, <laughs> I would not have got the punish. <laughs> I'd have messed up, but speaking of messing up, you should not mess up against Peach. You should never mess is up against Peach. Is that dead? That is death. No, it still was not he the can't, sweet He can't spot. come back. He can't come back because he got the counter. No, we're still one, living, though. One more time? Not no, there. Oh, there. One more time. Oh, oh blow it on yeah. him. Tried to blow him a kiss, but... Man, Toad's kiss is poisonous. Bro, it's such a... Bro, it's a toxic-ass move. Speaking of which, yeah, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> TK be gone. Yeah, good stuff to Razo taking that 2-0. Well. Like I said, YMCA, he was still doing... He was still doing well, despite how horrid that matchup looked. He was still bringing it back. Hell, the yeah, first like game, he, he was ahead. He was he, a, yeah, he'd be getting bodied, and then he would just bring it back. Let's get ahead, bro. Well, let's get ahead here quickly in the top eight.